Jet, I love our story and its beginning. We met one evening in March for a late afternoon drink. We had been speaking for weeks before this, but you were away on a big trip around Australia, so we had to wait months to go on our first real date. The first thing I thought when I met you was, I'm in trouble. And if I'm honest, I think that's when I knew. You were shy, you spoke softly, and were clearly very nervous. But you lit up when we started talking, and before we knew it, it had been hours. And that's what I love most about us. We became us with such ease. Malusha, you are the love of my life and the only one for me. You give me a calm and make me a better person. We understand each other in a, in a way I've never experienced with any other person. Which also makes us deadly when playing board games with others. Between our mad trips to pick up Biscuit from Tamworth and travelling around Italy with that extremely overambitious travel schedule, I know our lives will always be exciting and full of love. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. When I looked into her dark eyes and saw her lips were poised between laugh and silence, I learned the most important part of the language that the world spoke. The language that everyone on earth is capable of understanding in their hearts. It was love. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that have grown towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. I understood that the language the world spoke and it most certainly was love and I am yours forever. In marriage, we give ourselves freely into the hands of the one we love and in doing so, each of us receives as our most precious gift the love and respect of the other. But within your marriage, happiness will be fuller, memories will be fresher and your commitment to each other will be even stronger. Don't wait for The past few years building up for a family and making our house a home has been the greatest part of my life. And I know exactly After this day, I am overwhelmed with joy that I can call you my wife and continue this amazing journey with you preparing for the next phase of our lives. As Rumi put it, your heart knows the way to run in that direction and I will always run to you. A marriage that lasts is one that is continually developing while each partner grows in understanding of the other. Within its framework of commitment and loyalty, marriage enables the establishment of a home and a family with fur babies plus others maybe. At the end of a difficult day, the thought of coming home to you makes me feel like everything will be alright again. 
To me, marriage is much more than the commitment we make today. It is a promise I will make to you every day. A promise to love you and be the constant in your life. A promise to keep you safe, to be open and honest with you, to hold your hand when things get tough, to share every joy and every failure equally. I'm in love with you. Jet, I love our life together and the home we have created. To me, home is wherever you are. I'm absolutely and completely in love with who you are. Today, Jet, I make this promise to you and give you my whole heart. I love you a lot, a lot. When I love you more than years And I just want to stay Lucia, with this ring, I take you as my wife, who is a symbol of my commitment and love. That with this ring, I take you as my husband. It is a symbol of my commitment and my love. I just want to stay in love with you. Pleasure to pronounce him husband and wife, and you may kiss your beautiful bride. 